Team Liquid PH, let's go on the more usual side. Yeah, I just want to point out that Benny Cutie's emblems, he's got a health emblem for T1, but hold on a second, Sanji taking a lot of damage, won't be able to connect as much. But yeah, to finish my point, he's got a tenacity as well, so he's playing towards that late game. I'm not surprised if he buys the Thunderbelt as well, because mm -hmm. this is going to be really, really useful, because you're facing up against a late game Zaz. Yeah, the... Um, uh What's that called again? The, the permanent uh, addition to the defense. The hybrid defense, yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so that's a good thing already if uh, that is to be built by Sanford. So this is uh, a particularly slow game for both teams. Uh, I know that uh, they know the potential of each other. So uh, most of the time when we see uh, Assassin versus Assassin, uh, there will be team fights already. But for this one, it's more pokes. Uh, more like uh, they're filling out uh, the vibe of each other. But uh, mm -hmm. Medicute is starting strong at uh, the Golden. And we'll have the top lane. There's going to be a set of play. First blood by 40 of Team Liquid PH. Oh, Sanji taking a lot of damage, but here comes JP trying to push Zuri away. When we we'll able to mount up to anything, but losing the both of the EXP laners, they are just gonna try to get that uh, turtle reset, which makes a lot of sense because now you don't have Sanji along with the Eternal Guard, so it's a free turtle over the side of Beta. Beta starting very very strong yeah. in the early side, and it's really this interesting because I thought uh, since uh, it was uh, Team Liquid Beach that has the first uh, blood against Bigger Turn Beta, they'll go more aggressive on taking that objective. But for Bigger Turn Beta, they know how to make things work. They mm -hmm. know that they uh, need to be as much as possible first on this objective, so, which is uh, very effective for them. And uh, looking at the things right now, it's three minutes and uh, things are uh, yeah, looking good for uh, Team Liquid PH because uh, they're on the lead in terms of gold, considering that it was Bigatron Bera that mm -hmm. has uh, uh, the turtle objective. And uh, I saw the item already for Sanford, the Thunderbelt. Yeah, Thunderbelt is going to be really, really useful in the late game, especially if you're building it on a frontline hero. Mm -hmm. Sanford needs to be able to get out of there because it's sort of like a uh, uh, all-in kind of skill for Vengeance. If you dash in, you're basically in. You don't want to waste that skill. You want to try to continue to use that Vengeance as well. But for Team Liquid PH, it looks like a very, very hard start for Carl TZ. He really needs his item spikes. He really needs to get that damage down in order to yeah. get that kills. But it's very, very Filipino flavor, uh, this entire game. Slow pace, yes. but it's very, very calculated. I Every single move by Team Liquid PH is like, okay, I'm not going to take this fight if I know I can't get a trade. That is what Sanford did on the top side. Yeah, and it's a good thing that uh, Bigger Better is actually uh, putting off to that uh, kind of play mm -hmm. from uh, Liquid PH because uh, they're not on an aggressive side. They're just waiting to go for a counter play against Bigger and Better. But uh, here's the thing when we say about uh, counterplay, it's uh, Team Liquid uh, PH that has the kit. They oh. have uh, the Minotaur. Even the Roger has the Thunderbelt. Yeah, Roger already has Thunderbelt. Okay, so uh, this uh, teams uh, or this players are really more on the the late, mid to late game side. That mm -hmm. uh, is a mixture of both defense and damage. Yeah, because of that slow start, I don't think Call TZ might go for the Sky Piercer at all, mm -hmm. even because like you need to be able to stack those uh, passives for yeah, the Sky yeah. Piercer in order for it to be effective. This is the second turtle of the game. It does look like Bigotron Beta wants the turtle a little bit more. Team Liquid PH finding a right angle. Okay, so uh, we'll see is uh, who's going to get this uh, turtle objective. So uh, we can see uh, players from Bigotron Beta. We have uh, Naksu on uh, that zone that gets the players of Liquid Ooh, PH. We oh. see Call TC on the Retribution. The ultimate from Naksu is there. Sanford uses the flicker to back away against the players of Bigotron Beta. Same goes with Sanji, but the players of Bigger Pera is already low on life. There's no casualty here for this game. But again, we can see other players here of uh, Liquid PH forcing to get a kill Ooh. against Morzi. That is Carl TC from Team Liquid PH. Huge, huge wins. Small little wins by Team TLPH. They got the turtle. Carl just went in, got that turtle, got out. He knows how long he can stay. He knows what to wait for. Once the, out, uh, the Zask out just ends, that's where TLPH just tries to convert this, those into kills. That is where the extra shield that comes in from that turtle really comes into play. So I like the way that TLPH is so, so meticulous, so, so calculated with the way they want to start these fights and end this fight. You know what? For uh, bigger better, it's a good thing that uh, they're trying to do a split push here uh, against uh, Team Liquid PH. But yeah, for, yeah you're uh, really correct on that one. Team Liquid PH, uh, they know how to start a team fight even after getting an objective and it's a it's a hard skill you know yeah. to uh, perfect for team liquid page they've been doing it for uh many times now so i think uh they already know how to make uh bigger better like 
be confused. Are they gonna go for a team fight? Is this gonna be another play? Or uh, is this a main play? Something like that. Yeah, I think it's really smart of Big Strong Beta to just play against the side lanes and just sending Mosk off on his own because now Zas really has his like mid game power spike. You have a lot mm -hmm. of damage with that Zask. And knowing when Team TLPH really has their escape mechanisms, like, oh, oh, oh it's outside, a solo kill by Carl. That was a nice kill there by uh, Carla TZ. So aside from uh, farming uh, on the jungle area, he's now ready to get kills on the other lanes. And that's going to be another play from Team Liquid PH. Here comes the Black Dragon form. Marzi against the three players of Team Liquid PH. Here comes the damage. And even the highway from Naxu. Sanford is already low on life. He uses Ooh. the flicker and is still alive. I think here comes, here comes the backup. Here comes the backup from Better Cutie. There are some players of Team Liquid PH under the turret. There is going to be a Minova Sphere from JP. A kill against the high loss. Team Liquid PH on the lead on this game. There's a Sky Piercer by Benny. It's getting aggressive. There's the Benny I know. Sir Ceruzi doesn't have his ultimate just as of yet. But we just have to wait all. Okay, a shadow kill here for Carl TZ under oh! the turret. That is under the turret though. No. Yeah, he's building up his Sky Piercer stacks. Team Liquid PH is ramping up the aggression, ramping up the tempo. They're shifting gears as of now because from better on the defense, Angie taking a lot of damage. But uh, Marzi with a uh, counter kill at the middle lane. So here comes the juggle from Bigger Beta. They want to get those skills against Team Liquid PH. Ooh. There's going to be a kill against Sanford. So it's a battle of attrition now for both the Bigger and Beta and Team Liquid B uh, PH. We can see the juggle now in terms of team fights. I thought that Bigger and Beta were just uh, there to go for uh, the positioning on the turtle objective, or actually mm -hmm. the Lord now. But uh, they went for the kills. They just want to maintain the wave pressure down on the long lane and the bottom side. So they really need to start on this Lord. This will be crucial for Bigger Strong Beta. This Black Dragon Form tries to zone Ben Cutie away, but it's taking a lot of damage. Okay, Marzi in the middle. Oh! And there's going to be a shutdown against Korla TC. And a big Tron Beta. They were able to secure the Lord. But we can see here that uh, two players are down from Big Tron Beta. Who got the lead there? I'm confused. What's happening? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ceruzi. Benny Cutie against Ceruzi. And Ceruzi is going to be down. It's going to be a killing spree for Benny Cutie. Oh, man. Just to say his name, the aggression is really, really starting to ramp up. That's the War Axe. Uh, War Cry emblem that he's on. So once he gets started, he won't stop. Till it's done. Let's take a look at the itemizations real quick. Mm -hmm. Sky Piercer for both Carl and Benny. You're trying to build that stacks up. Uh, Thunder Belt for both Sanford and Benny, but hold on a second. Okay, You're taking the Lord right here. Mm -hmm. There's a uh, nice defense from them. Yeah, it doesn't look like Bigotron Beta wants to go for any of the hard defenses, but they're trying to push down that mid tier one. That's going to be big for them. That's uh, actually a nice play from uh, Bigger and Better. All along, I thought that uh, Team Liquid PH will uh, try to uh, like defend this uh, middle lane because uh, the purple buff is really crucial for for Carlton. You know, looking at the things right now, what do you think uh, does uh, Bigger and Better needs to do to be able to like uh, be on the lead in terms of a uh, team fight? Uh, from what I can see, for a lot of team fights that are happening, Bigatron Beta likes to start team fights, but Team Liquid PH, they like to wait for all the, the right ultimates to end, so Ceruzi really needs to be patient, but hold on! Ooh, that Ooh. is a nice final slash, and the Eternal Guard for that. It's like an exclamation point. Final slash and the period is the Eternal Guard. Uh, so that's so worth it because it's spin. Yeah. It's the Marksman, so this is the floodgates wide open. And uh, Team Liquid PH, they really need to find a way to try to push in all the lanes. They need to be able to try to zone out, create space for the next Lord that's coming in 70 seconds. They need to capitalize this one. Again, mm -hmm. the marksman here of Bigger and Better is uh, not alive. And uh, it's going to be 6-11. You know, it's going to be another long uh, game, I guess, uh, since uh, Bigger and Better has the kit. Uh, even to clear the minion wave, they have the Zask. And uh, what's crucial here for Team Liquid PH is that when came the late game, if uh, Bigger and Better wins even a single team fight the pro the split or the pushing prowess is so high mm. because of the zask even the moscov so team look at ph i think i need uh, they need to uh, like finish off the game as early as possible i have a counter take to this okay, which is like Saruzi, his power spike is ending soon 
and then Ooh. everything is going into the hands of Pin. If Pin doesn't make, uh, doesn't scale up well, Team Liquid PH, the longer this game goes, they're just going to be stronger and tankier and beefier, especially uh, Benny, especially Sanford. You're going to cre be creating a lot of plays. You're going to be creating a lot of opportunities for you to start the aggression instead of being the counteract to that. So, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So you're saying that uh, the Zask's or the Zask's damage yeah. will decline in a specific. Uh, yeah. Because the, How many minutes do you think? I think if the game goes up like to like 18 minutes 18 or so. Minutes. Yeah, because th that, that's where like uh, mm -hmm. uh, the Thunderbolt really starts to stack up. Oh, right. But, that's but then right. again, that being said, Thunderbolt stacks only if like you get the poke or you get a yeah. chip damage onto your enemy heroes. But I don't see anything happening. It's sort mm -hmm. of like, a, it's like, you know, a secondary school yeah, yeah, yeah. or like a, a high school kind of a, a love story. Like, I, I kind of like <laughs> you, but I don't want to. But I, I don't, don't want to. Yeah. I see you there, but I, I don't want to look at you. I see you. I see you looking at me. But you, you don't see me looking at you, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> that that's what uh, Naxi was doing with JP. He sees him right here. I see you right there, buddy. <laughs> no I one's making a move. I see you right there. I, I mean, even for Sanjay and Medic Guilty, I think uh, they know that there are players there. Uh, even Axu is uh, actually there. So uh, there is the spawn from uh, Siruzi to uh, like know where the players of uh, Team Liquid PH are. So uh, there's going to be a long uh, lore dance. So yeah. I think uh, uh, maybe a decent uh, minute. Probably of uh, juggling whether to finish off the Lord or restart from time or reset from time to time. Yeah, TLPH looks like they are gonna start things off. No, that's gonna be a reset. Okay. But they're actually 3k gold ahead. That's like a, a full core item for the entirety of Team Liquid PH collectively. Uh, because from beta, they are playing a little bit too passively, in my opinion. They <sighs> could very well that's go true. for a, a nice split push down the bottom side yeah. or so. Uh, Pin could really prioritize the win of nature or even win the truncheon just to or win a crown just to negate the effects of Call of TZ because he knows that. You're just gonna get picked off. Uh, maintain the side lane pressure, try to push in the waves, and try to force Team Luke at PH to separate. And that's where Because from Beta really has this chance. Lord, getting started up. We can see a setup play from Daxu, who's gonna get the Lord. It's gonna be Ooh. Carl Teasy still. What if it was your counter play from Team Liquid PH? Double kill for Carl Teasy. Sirius is already low night. Sanji will secure that kill against him. And a shot down. Pin is on the top lane. Forced to back away is Link and even this Moskov. It's gonna be a kill screen for Carl TC. That's it. We have four players down for Bigatron Beta. Team Liquid BH, they could get this mid lane turret or probably even the inhibitor turret as well. It's gonna be very, very tough. Very, very tight. It's eight seconds until Naksu spawns back up. The Lord marching down on the mid side. But it will take a little bit more time for TLPH to really crack open that. Okay, oh, it looks like they'll be able to do it just like that and they back off. That's the discipline that I love with yep. these PH, uh, PH teams that I think other regions can really learn uh, from this, especially when it comes down to the macro game. Once you take down that Lord, just take down the objectives, try to convert all of them, and then it really starts to scale. You can start it with like 3k gold lead, right now mm -hmm. it's 5k and slowly Ooh. but surely extending. Uh, probably because uh, they also know that Medicuity during that time was it actually, or can't be part of the uh, team fight. So probably for the next... Uh, do you think there's going to be another Lord Dance or um, Team Liquid PH, they just have to be um, aggressive and get a play? But the thing is that they don't really have the initiator type of... Yeah, they got Sanford. Sanford is starting the initiation, just like you said, <laughs> okay, not soon. Just like we were asking, there's going to be a setup play here from Team Liquid PH. Shadow kill for Cartesi as well. So uh, Naxu is down for Bigatron Beta. That is a nice execution there for Team Liquid PH. Even cutting the minion wave in between uh, uh, the inhibitor turret and the second tier turret. I like their rotations as well. They're like tipping skills. Right now, they're just clearing off the wave as five because they want to fight every team fight as five, mm -hmm. as a unit. And Team Liquid PH are doing this so well. Down by Ooh. one, they want to start that T3 down that top side. Did you see that damage from Karateezy against... Yeah. Uh, uh, seriously, that's uh, more than half of uh, his life. So uh, that's uh, uh, that's uh, deadly for uh, bigger and better. So uh, if you're Siruzi, you have to be mindful where Karateezy is, where the GOAT is. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure Gideon loves that. Yeah, the no, goat. honestly though, I think he really is the GOAT. He's the first person to win multiple M champion yeah. championships in a row. Uh, Taking a look at the gold grab, because from beta just slowly declining, but this is still a very, very close game. It's still anyone's game, but hold on a second. Shadow kill on the backside. Ooh. Oh, actually. <laughs> that 
is a secure what? kill. I thought that Kanye is going to back away, but uh, that's going to be a secure kill for them. There is a despair song from JP, and the turret at the top lane is going to be destroyed. We have Naxxu already low on life. JP's immortality is being pumped. Here comes and Benny. the middle lane, Apart from Betty Cutie, there is also another damage here coming in from Team Liquid PH. And for our game number one, I think it is what it is. It's safe to say Team Liquid PH takes game number one. Oh man, the, the tower juggle.